Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I have a very interesting idea. First, I want to show you something. This right here is the flying wing. Okay, this was going to be real. This man right here, um, I don't remember his name, sorry. So this guy created this thing right here, um, and they had actual, like, they were going to fly this thing too. So, this is a video by Mustard. Please, uh, go, go support him. Got great stuff. All of, um, this is the AD1 oblique wing. So, it is diagonal. I think, um, Mr. Scrapman made one on his channel. But I wanted to make this thing. In trail makers now you if you guys watch trail makers content you've probably seen uh, scrapman do his um, and it didn't work out very well um, there was a lot of inverse roll um, that was happening basically um, this diagram back here uh, shows what was happening so when it became very at a large degree um, it would start to create roll and pitch at the same time it was just it was not good but at the subtle degrees it was definitely better like better so um that is all i wanted to show uh with that let me close that so it doesn't lag our game and um i already built um a test model so this is it in trail makers um, I probably need to, like, inset these, but with a, uh, piston glitch, so that it's, like, in there. I don't know how well that'll do, because it has to turn. So, um, this has gyros in it, because there was no way it was going to fly by itself with just air controls. There's no way. There's no tail. I don't know how people thought this was a good idea. So let's spawn it in. Uh, as you can see, we're at a 35 degree. Um, and I put... Um, there are... Things so that I can control this. Oh goodness. Oh, see, we're already rolling. Now we do fly this in this direction. Now if I press E, we are at the high speed... Uh... So, I literally have to keep pressing D to roll in that direction, just to keep this thing straight. So, this was going to be an idea. Look, see? The trails. See? It's just the same as the picture. Although, I think... The picture is the lower, slow, slower f flying version. Yeah, I have to pitch down and roll at the same time. This is so annoying. This is really annoying. Yeah, it's just extremely annoying to try to get this thing to work. Yeah, it's just, it's just, as you can see, so the... The center of mass here. Let's let's get out of this. So obviously, Tremakers has the forces, and you can see where the forces are. Now, all of the these indicate that there's a problem. It can't be a problem with the center of mass. Um, apparently, the center of lift is behind the center of mass. Um, that could just be because this is blocking those. It still calculates them, but not in build mode. Oh, what? Oh, no. Okay. I was like, the, is the, and the center of lift is way below. So if I didn't have the gyros, it would just backflip. Um, what else? Uh, 
So the center of lift is too far back. Behind your center of mass, center of thrust is below center of mass. Uh, the center of vertical drag, that's basically your horizontal tail that you need to stay straight. Uh, it has none. So, yeah, it has no tail, so it cannot stay straight. Um, center of horizontal drag. Um, close to center masses. Yeah, so these are horizontal drag, and they're not doing a lot because they're not behind the center of mass. They're literally the pivot point is at the center of mass. So lots of problems with this, um, at least in the game. I don't know how it would be in real life. So I want to see if I can make this thing fly without the gyros by modifying it. Um, so I am going to add some pipes for a tail. Uh, hopefully it'll work. Maybe a little bit longer. Perfect. Now we're going to add a tail. Just a small little tail at the beginning. Uh, might have to turn it actually. Like angle it. It might not work like this. I can't find my stuff. Um, why is it always spawn in that direction? Okay. And we'll just grab one of these and we'll plop it on the back. Look, see? Now, hopefully, our... Cent oh, goodness. Wow, that's barely anything. Um, it should, now these are going to be a problem because they're just on the bottom and there's no center of mass underneath it. So, let's see how this flies. Now, yeah, that's very counterintuitive. The, the tail is not even behind where it should be. Yeah, see, it wants to fly straight because of the tail. Yeah, so let's fix that. We're just going to go into build mode and we're going to turn it 90 degrees. Oh no. We're going to put uh, a large hinge, green side, in the right direction. Now we're going to configure, we're going to go 70, no steering help, oh, it doesn't have, oh dang, oh man, okay. That's fine, I guess. Oh. No, yeah, it's fine. It's fine. So I need this to go into here. Because, so I have this. This is an altitude sensor. So it, right now it's always active. But I put it on 0.5 so that actually I want to lessen these so I want to lessen them to 60 degrees so yeah I want this at 60 instead of 70 so now 50% would be a 30 degree angle and yeah okay Why is it not working? Oh wait, it is. So if I press E. Oh, I didn't hook it into it. Okay. We gotta hook this OR gate right here. That I have. Also into our little 
thing. So now when I press E, although it should, is that 30? That's not 30 degrees. Is that 30 degrees? It's not. Plugged into the right spot, right? Yeah. Large hinge. Hmm. Maybe? I don't know. No, I don't think that's right, though. Okay, at least it works for when we're going high speeds. So, oh my goodness. Okay. Let's go. So this, the 30 degrees is the takeoff speed, and the 60 or 70 degrees is the um, high speed flying speed. Because, so, the way it works, th the guy's got a whole video, go watch Mustard, okay, right after this. Um... He's gonna, yeah, so we're yawing to the left now. I think that's just because there's a collision happening. So, let me fix that collision. I don't want a collision here. So, we are going to, instead of having those, you know what? Probably be fine if I just get rid of them. Yeah. Completely just get rid of them. Oh my goodness. I'm pressing all the wrong buttons. Okay. I wonder if it, it'll it work. No. I, I don't think it should work. Okay. No. Now it... Uh, uh, it's so weird. I, I don't understand. Yeah, I'm having to... Still. I used to only have to... Maybe it's too far down? I'm so confused right now. So... Man. I don't know. Ah! I accidentally press repair. How about a landing? Can we land in this thing? I don't think that's going to happen. Honestly, that was pretty good for landing on the engines and not having any landing gear. Um, also, I want to move this just to the inside, I guess. Wait, there's, oh no, there's air pockets right there. Whatever, it's fine. Oh, wait, no. Yeah, center of thrust is still way too high. Now, what if, what if... You had engines on both sides. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to do right now. Um, the engines are definitely making it pitch up the whole time. Definitely. Like, there's no doubt about that. The, maybe if these were powered tail fins, maybe we'd have a different thing happening. Yeah, I'm going to switch them all out for powered tail fins and see if that does anything. I don't think, ah. so powered tail fins add more drag in that, di in that direction than normal, because they're like magic. I mean, like, science. I don't know. Science-y. They just do because they do. Oh, honestly? Um... Wait, no. Now press E. Okay, I'm still rolling. Like, really bad. Like, really, really bad. What if... 
Although I am definitely cheating with gyros. Because, here. L l let me show you what it would be like without gyros. Um. Good night. Okay, let me save this as a new thing. And I'm going to take the gyros out of it. So, gyros are gone. Let's see how this thing flies. It doesn't. Fight the roll. Fight the roll. No, not R. I'm an E. No! So, I'm not used to playing on a keyboard. So, this is... Yeah. Yeah, my seat is upside down. Stop, stop telling me I'm upside down. Yeah, it's just pushing me up. Press E. Um. Wait. Oh no. I can't fight the roll. I can't fight the roll. Nope. I can't fight the roll. Okay. So that is. I, I was literally holding D down to roll to the right. It just doesn't work. So that's why I put gyros in it. Um. I bring back this version. <sighs> I don't know. It works okay. I could put like maybe like uh, I no. Yeah, I could probably put a gyro stabilizer in here and it would uh just stay level. But then I wouldn't be able to roll to turn and maneuver. Maybe I could add one behind it. I put that... Un so gyros dampen in the direction that they're facing. <gasps> no, I pressed R instead of E. They're right next to each other. My hands are... I have large hands. So. If you didn't know... Well, it's hard to tell through the camera. So, it, yeah. It's just a little more difficult to... Oh! Wait! No, wait! Okay, it's... It's rolling a tiny bit. Honestly, much easier than before. I can just, like, tap it. I can still, like... Uh... Um, bank? What? Hold up. Roll is now... Pitch. And pitch is roll. Oh my goodness. Oh goodness. Okay, it's definitely broken. It's going the opposite direction. Wow. Okay. It's a little bit better. You get the weird inverse roll, obviously, of the real life thing. Um, well... This wasn't made yet, but it was definitely in the work in progress. They they wanted to make this. So, this was mostly, like, concept um, idea. So, I think that is all the testing I'm going to do with this. Uh, yeah, let me know. What next thing I should build? I have a few ideas from the same channel, Mustard. Go check them out. Um, and, uh, yeah, comment down below other things that you want to see. Um, challenges, uh, builds, you know, basically anything with reason. Um, and, uh, yeah, if this, I hope this video has earned your subscription. And, uh, I'll see you on the next one. Bye!